The core of the transformer armor system is the harness. The harness has adjustable shoulder and side straps. It also has a front 6x8 plate pocket for a soft or semi-rigid speed plate. The back of the harness has adjustable and removable shoulder straps as well as waist straps. It too also has a 6x8 plate pocket for a soft or semi-rigid trauma plate. The front harness is attached to the ballistic panel with hook and loop. You simply line up the hook and loop on the front of the harness and the front of the panel. The hook and loop also allows for adjustability for the harness to be moved up or down. The rear plate harness is also attached by hook and loop to the ballistic panel. Like with the front harness, you place the hook and loop together and you extend your shoulder and your side straps. Now that your harness is attached to your front and back panel, attach the shoulder straps to the front harness. Place the vest over your shoulders, making attachments on the shoulder and the waist. Be sure that you adjust the shoulders and the waist for the most comfortable fit. Now that you've attached the front harness to the front panel, it's time to put the panel and harness into the front sleeve. The idea here is to work the top of the panel on both sides into the sleeve. Always making sure by reaching through that the harness shoulder pieces are showing through to the outside of the sleeve. Once this is complete, then you want to pull the harness down and then work to one side of the vest. Working your way down then moving over to the other side. Once you see that the panel is actually into the sleeve, flip the sleeve over, work the bottom portion of the sleeve and the sides to fit in where they belong. Once you have completed this, then it's just a matter of readdressing the sleeve, making sure that the ballistics are covered, making sure that your shoulder tabs as well as your side tabs on the harness are exposed. This is critical for the operation of the transformer armor system. Because the harness does the work, this is what the shoulder and the side straps attach to. Now that your back harness is attached to your ballistic panel, much like what you did with the front panel, you will place the sleeve over top of the ballistic panel working from the top. As you work the panel into the sleeve, ensuring that the straps, shoulder straps, come through the top. The 
like you did on the front, move to the side of the ballistic panel. Working both sides until the sleeve is covering the ballistics. If at any point during operation of the one or two of the carrier and you're seeing the ballistic panels, simply reach in and make sure that the sleeve covers over the ballistic panel covering. Working the carrier down, placing the shoulder straps straight out, ensuring that the side straps are also exposed. You are now ready to flip the vest over and like you did with the front panel, work the sleeve around the edges of the ballistics so that they fit in the position that they're meant for, ensuring that the sleeve is completely covering the ballistic panel. Now that you have placed the ballistics inside the transformer sleeve, both front and back, it is now time to attach the shoulder straps. Place the vest over your head and re-engage the side straps, ensuring that the attachments on the shoulder and the sides are comfortable. Once you have assembled your vest and you try on the transformer for the first time, it may require some fine tuning. This fine tuning can be done in the shoulder and the side strap area on the harness. We recommend that these adjustments are made prior to putting on the sleeve. Once these adjustments are in place, you should never have to change the harness again. Once you have selected an outer style carrier for your transformer, whether it be the uniform shirt carrier, permanent pocket carrier, or a light tactical carrier, the procedures for loading the transformer into these outer shells are very similar. To begin, turn your outer shell over, open up the zipper compartment, take your front panel, ensuring that the KDH body side is placed into the carrier properly. Place the panel into the carrier, making sure that the side ballistic wings are in place. Once this is complete, turn the carrier over, ensuring that the harness wings are exposed. as well as the shoulders. You may have to reach inside of the vest in order to have the shoulder attachments exposed. Now that this is complete, turn the carrier back over and close the zipper. For your back panels, remove the side strap covers and set to the side, turning the carrier over and unzipping. Taking your rear panel, take the shoulder straps, placing them inside of the rear plate carrier. Taking your side straps and folding them under. After this process is complete, turning the panel over, ensuring that the KDH body side is loaded properly into the carrier. Ensuring that the side panels are in place. Once this is complete, turn the carrier over, reaching from the bottom, finding the side straps, and exposing them out on both sides.
following the same procedure, reach into the vest and locate each shoulder strap. In doing so, turn the carrier over, closing the zipper. Making sure at the top that the ballistics are in their proper place. After this is completed, take the front outer shell and ballistics and engage the side straps to the Velcro, Velcro harness. Reaching at the top and attaching the straps to the internal harness. You can then close the top strap of the harness which protects the inner harness strap. Taking your side strap covers, placing them on the front, turning the carrier over, and doing the same to the back. Your outer carrier now is ready to place on your body.